Happening there, hat folks. G the hat guy here. I'm back with another awesome hat video on how to put hat and shoe combinations together. My last few videos has been about how to do just that put hat and shoe combinations together for your outfits, your wardrobe, all that great stuff. Uh, so hopefully, if you've been watching the last few videos, you, you've gained something, or, or uh, maybe you can gain something from this video on uh, you know, learn something new on, or maybe kind of enhance what you already know. Uh, on uh, how to put your hat and shoe combinations together just kind of give some ideas nothing is written in stone here this is just some ideas you know of mine uh on how i do you know my stuff put my hat and shoe combinations together maybe you could learn something you could be inspired some way you know gain some inspiration that type of thing beneficial for you that's what the video is all about um so yeah let's get right into it the title for this video is how to wear hats with these types of shoes and scarves for fall. Chelsea and chucker boots, etc. Okay, um, that's the title of the video. So let's get right into it. The first one that I have for you here is going to be this here. It's got a nice, this is made in Italy. Very nice Oxford. This is brand new out of the box. Uh. Let's see here, uh, kind of like a uh, like a cherry red type color, whatnot, I guess. You know, it's got a combination sole, you know, leather and I think it's actually, yeah, leather and rubber sole, you know, uh, the top part there. Uh, yeah, it's just got that rubber and it kind of pro protect that leather. And the bottom's got that rubber. It's got a stacked heel on there. Um, it's got the cap toe. Okay, it's a round cap toe is what this is here. You know, it looks like it's hand painted. This has got sort of like a rustic finish. You know, that's the look of the shoe. It's supposed to have that rustic type uh, look to it. And uh, this is one of those shoes that's got the uh, certificate of authenticity to show that it's the real deal. You know, not a fake. You know, comes with its own certificate, original. You know, made in Italy, whatnot. It's got all the verification of uh, authenticity right there. You know. Yeah, when you get some quality shoes, you get this, uh, whatnot. Uh, okay, so let's see here. Uh, yeah, I'm not promoting any particular brand, like I say in a lot of my videos. Uh, if anybody wants to promote their band, brand, big or small, uh, if I'm interested, you can reach out to me in the comment section and we can take it from there. Um, but yeah, so you see, this is a nice cap toe, okay, in that... Uh, the nice uh, red color there. Let's see. Uh, and uh, it's got leather lining on the inside there. I'm trying to use the camera to try to capture that for you. And uh, yeah, if you're used to my videos by now, you know I'm filming with one hand and trying to record uh, and trying to trying to handle uh, the items with, with another hand. So bear with me here. That's my setup currently. Uh, see, so yeah, there we go. So that's a cap toe. Oxford uh, is what you're looking at there. Very nice uh, shoe. Something like this, you know, you can match up with uh, a nice Spitfire cap, okay? For the fall, winter, early spring, when it's still cold, you know, you could do something like this. This is a Spitfire, okay? Or if you got a newsboy, you know, Spitfire is basically real similar to a newsboy, you know, um, but, you know, the brim is sewn down, the visor is sewn down. The visor on the Spitfire might be a little bit uh, wider or sometimes smaller, depends. Uh, but, yeah, typically the visor will be stitched down or buttoned down on a noose boy cap, whatnot. So, and then the Spitfire, it might be, typically it's, it's wider on, on the top as well, you know. So, it's not like a big, big apple. Uh, it's not as wide as the big, big apple. Like the big apple or noose boy caps, whatnot, it's not as big as that. It's kind of like in the middle between the regular size uh, Noose Boy and the uh, Big Big Apple Cap. But yeah, there we go. So you can match that up with something like that. These two go really nice together. Okay. And then I've got some additional surprises for you with this combination here. You've got that sweater, that round neck wool sweater. Very nice Italian sweater. You can kind of match those three up. You see, I'm giving you the combination right there. You got the sweater. You got the cap. You got the shoe to go with it. Also, with this combination, you can do black shoes, too. You can do black shoes or black boots, okay? And then if you want to do jeans, uh, 
Well, let's see now. Um, if you're going to do black, yeah, you're going to do, if you're going to do black, you want to go with uh, black pants and black shoes. Okay. So you can go with it, with the top, with the, with the cap or fedora, you know, like the same color, kind of like this or close, you know, like I have with the sweater and the cap here. Okay. And then do black pants and black shoes. Those two got to be the same color for it to look right. You could do a black coat on top, you know, that'll be perfect right there. So you got some contrast in color. You know, all your colors are not off and, and they, they kind of complement each other real good. You know, you got the uh, Spitfire cap or like I said, you can do a fedora, uh, medium brim, like a two and a inch, uh, two and a quarter inch brim fedora or any other type of hat. You know, pork pie, uh, stingy brim, whatever you want to do, you know, uh, as long as it's not really formal uh, kind of look. Uh, uh, I'm going to do it with like a godfather, you know, whatnot. Uh, um, so yeah, I said something like this, uh, like I said, you know, then you could do jeans as well. If you do jeans that you want to go with, uh, maybe like a nice, uh, dark Navy wash type, you know, or like a solid, uh, dark Navy type or, or black jeans, solid black, you know, or black wash type jeans. If you go with black, you're going to have to go with black shoes though. Okay. You, you don't want to go with shoes that's like this color. Okay. So you want to make sure the pants match the shoes color. Okay, those two are the same. Then you can have your hat and your sweater or your shirt. That's maybe this color or you're wearing a shirt underneath the sweater or something like that. You know, that it complements. You see what I mean? You know, you could do a uh, a solid black shirt with this sweater on top. If you're going to do the black pants with the black shoes or black boots, you know, that work, that work fine. You know, and then you could do uh, the same cap, you, you see what I mean? Or, or fedora or any other type of hat, like I said, you know, winter hat or something or fall, fall, winter, you know, type hat, you know, um, or you could do the sweater. Like I said, uh, maybe do a, a check pattern or plaid or another solid color type shirt, you know, that's going to complement whatnot. If you could do blue jeans, like I said, dark, navy or a nice, yeah, that, 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 that's, that's what I think would work like on the darker side. With, with, with a wash on it or just a solid dark blue type jeans you could do that you know like i said you could do black jeans as well but then you would have to do black shoes or boots with that one you know so um yeah so this is a nice combination so you got your you got the the cap you know spitfire cap you got the shoes you got the sweater okay very nice and then i got let me see here what else i got for you bear with me here while i'm handling this this box here um let's see what else yeah, i got one more surprise for you with this combo you know then you could do like a like a scarf right you know you can throw this scarf on it let's see hang on here Let's see what we got for you. Uh, one second. Bear with me. Yeah, I don't put everything together. And now, all of a sudden, now I'm trying to show you all stuff. Want to want to be acting funny. You know, hang on. Let's see, bear with me here. Folks, uh, thumbs up the video. If you're learning something, you're getting some insights. You know, you're enjoying the video. Uh... You know, most definitely give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Again, I'm G the Hat Guy. You know, uh, huge fan of hats. You know, hat retailer. I'm in the hat business. And uh, I also make hats uh, just all around, you know, the hat guy. You know, whatnot. I don't know everything about hats, though. You know, I've been in the hat business for several years. Uh, but several other folks have been in the business a lot longer than me. But, you know, I just try to share what I know. That type of thing. And, uh, yeah, that's all. I just try to share what I know, you know. And, and like I said, I, I've got a passion for hats. And uh, that's why I started this channel, just kind of trying to share my insights on hats and, and, and that type of thing. So, you know, my love for hats, my passion for hats. Um, so, yeah, okay, we, we got this combination here. You got the Spitfire cap. You got the scarf. You see that scarf goes really nice with the, with the cap. It's got some gray, some navy. You got your shoe. Boom. And then you got your sweater right there. You know, like I said, you could do chino pants if you want some nice uh, chino uh, khaki pants. You know, if you want to do black chinos or something, you, you have to do black shoes, though. You can't go with 
this color shoes here. So you do uh, uh, black shoes or black boots. If you want to do black jeans, same thing. You want to do black uh, jeans with black boots or black shoes as well. Okay, whatever style shoes. Um, but with this combination, you could do uh, like a dark navy blue jeans. You could do, uh, you don't want to go too light on the jeans, you know. So dark navy blue, solid dark navy blue or something that's dark with with a, with a simple, you know, uh, uh, a soft wash on it, you know, not too faded, you know. So uh, with a, with a, with a medium uh, or, or like a slight wash type, you know, on it will go good with this. And you could do a fedora hat. You know, you could do a shorter stingy brim hat if you want. Uh, you could do a pork pie hat. Uh, you know, so you can also do an ivy cap. You know, this is a Spitfire. You could do a traditional newsboy cap if you want with this combination. That'll work. That's the sweater. Like I said, you know, you could wear a shirt underneath the sweater if you want. Maybe a check pattern plaid, solid color shirt. You know, you can do that. That'll work with, with this combination as well right here. Okay. Uh, so the scarf, that's a surprise that I kind of threw in there, you know, well, with the sweater as well. Typically, it's just a hat and the shoes. So, but I just gave you like a, like a full combination. You got the, you got the cap, you know, the, the, the lid there, the, you know, you got the shoes, scarf and sweater, you know, I put an additional accessory for that one. Okay. So let's see here. What else I got for you? Let me see what else. Let's, let's keep moving here. Keep it moving. See what else I got for you. One second. Bear with me. I'm trying to handle this sweater with my other hand here. Yeah, folks, like I said, if you're enjoying the video so far, you're learning something, you know, um, you're gaining something beneficial, give the video a thumbs up. I really appreciate your support. Um, like I said, we've got hat travels coming up. If you've been watching my video for some time now, been talking about it for quite a while uh, since I got started, and you're just trying to find some time because I've been really busy. So, uh, yeah, trying to find some time to go shoot the content and bring it to you. It's very unique hat content from all over the country that's coming to you. Okay, hat travels with Jeet the Hat Guy. I'm telling you, you don't want to miss it. It's coming. Uh, if you want to support the channel, Cash App is dollar sign G the Hat Guy, just like it says. Okay, uh, appreciate it. You know, try to put together funds for our hat travels right now. Everything is self funded by me. So, uh, but if you want to support, you can do that. We appreciate it. Also, we've got T-shirts for sale for fans of G the Hat Guy. You want to show some extra love? Okay. I've got T-shirts for you guys. You know, um, if you want to see the color, some of my previous videos, uh, uh, you know, earlier videos, uh, I said probably going back maybe about a month or so, you know, I had from today from, yeah, you know, I had some, uh, I had some, uh, uh, I was showing some of the T-shirts with some of the colors on there that I had. If you're able to catch that, you can see the colors. Otherwise, if you want to see, you want to support and you're serious, let me know. You can let me know in the comment section. I can email you the uh, the colors that I have and you let me know your size. And those will be $29.99 free shipping within the US. Anywhere else will cost additional uh, postage. And uh, yeah, I can ship it out to you just for you to show your love. And like I said, your support. To, to raise additional funds, you know, raise some funds for the hat travels, whatnot. So I really appreciate that. So like I said, we could bring you that very unique, awesome hat content. Um, okay, so that's that one there. Finally got this thing folded over here. Put it back. Let me put this shoes back. Let's see, uh, bear with me here. One moment. Also check us out. Uh, check out the uh, the hat group. We have a social hat group. Uh, I talk about this on, on pretty much every video. Um, on Instagram is at G the Hat Guy. You can follow me at G the Hat Guy on Instagram. Uh, you know, trying to keep up with multiple social platforms can be something else. You know, uh, but on Facebook we've got a private hat group is uh, the Hatters Lounge by G the Hat Guy. Just like I said, the Hatters H A T T E R S L O U N G E by G the Hat Guy. The Hatters Lounge by G the Hat Guy is the name of the social hat group. Uh, you can post your own hat pictures, your collection, you know, uh, you know, when you're wearing your hats and stuff and your shoes, you can post your pictures. Let's see what you're putting together. I want to see your hat and shoe combinations. OK, don't 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 be on the sidelines. OK, don't be a part a, 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 a spectator, be a participator. OK, so don't be on the sidelines, you know, just watching from the background, be a participator. OK, 
You have to send me your, once you look up that, that name, the Hatter's Lounge by G the Hat Guy on, social, on Facebook, search for it. You want to send me a request to join the group. Once I receive that, make sure you answer the question. What type of hats do you like? You know, you into some of your favorite hats. Just one question. And then just read the rules, you know, no spam, you know, etc. We've got some rules. Make sure no spam and follow the rules for the group. Check the button, agree to it, and then you send me your request. And I can, uh, I'll go ahead and authorize you to join the group, you know. And once you join the group, you can post your own pictures on it. Like I said, I want to see your hat and shoe combination. Let me see how you're styling your closet, how you're styling your outfits, your wardrobe with your hats and shoe combinations. You can post your pictures on there. Okay, it's a social hat group. We share pictures. We share stuff. You know, it's just social, you know, camaraderie, you know, for the hat folks. Okay. All right. Like I said, again, it's G the hat guy here. So let's see what else I got for you. Um, Let's see here. The next one. I've got this one here for you. You know, this is sort of, this is Chelsea uh, style boot. Sort of like a bluish gray, like a light, light blue gray mix is what this is. It might come across as solid gray. You know, that's, that's what it is, like a little bit bluish gray. So it's got that goring, that elastic goring on the side there. It's got the hook, the heel hook there. You know, help you slide it right on. Nice leather lining. You see that leather lining on the inside there? Very nice. With this particular manufacturer, this is uh, waterproof. It's got a combination so rubber and uh, leather, okay? And uh, it's got waterproof, like I said. You don't want to wear in, like, heavy uh, snow or anything though um even when it's wet if it's raining or something i'll be careful because it's got some leather there so that can ruin the soul you know that uh that uh that snow and stuff out there too um but you know the uh the leather does have uh the suede i'm sorry the suede does have uh uh waterproof treatment you know whatnot so um yeah this has got some medallions on it it's got the cap toe it's got the medallions on it Okay, similar to like a wingtip, you know, medallion design on it. Very nice, you know, uh, made in Italy. It's a nice pair. So if you've got something similar like this, you know, you can match this up with with this hat right here. You see, or you can do a newsboy cap, you know. Um, you know, there are different several ways you can go with this too. You know, you can do a newsboy cap, you can do an IV cap. You know, several different options. You see that? You got a fedora. This is a European fur felt. Traditional fedora. Center dent, two pinches. Got the contrast band and a black. This is a, a rabbit fur felt. European fur felt. Okay, about two and a quarter inch brim one that's got a multicolor feather in there. You know. So, yeah, you could do something like this here. It's a bad combination, right? You know, you do that, put on a sweater. You know, like a sweater that matched that hat, maybe, you know, or the shoes, you know, a uh, combination. Uh, maybe it's got some hints of black in there. You could do jeans. Uh, you can do this is a dress casual look, you know, of course. Uh, you don't want to wear that boot with, with a suit. The hat you can wear with a suit, but not the boots. It's a dress casual look. So you could do jeans, you know. If you want to do black jeans, you can do that. If you want to do blue jeans, you could do that, like a medium blue type jeans or something. You can do that. You know, you got your black coat, you know, again, for the fall and the winter, you could do that. You know, very nice combination right here. You know, nice quality shoes, whatnot. Uh, this will work really, really, really good. You see that? Very nice. Uh, it's a high quality shoes made in Italy, whatnot. Uh, uh, boots, Chelsea boots. Um, yeah, so let's see here. Uh, let me put that back. Move on to the next one. Let's see what else I got for you. Let's see here. Mm. Let me just move right through this. Be, bear with me here, folks. Uh, kind of filming with uh, one hand and trying to handle this stuff with another hand and put it on the ground there. Okay, let's see what else I got for you here. Yeah, I've got these here. Um, let's see. Yeah, 
right, these are wingtip. I mean, you know by now, if you've been watching this video with the hat and shoes, then I'm a huge wingtip fan. So you got a nice navy suede, you know, um, leather lining on the inside. Again, it's got the waterproof uh, combination. So leather and rubber right there behind the foot bed, foot bed. Okay, so yeah, that's that wingtip. It's got the brogan, the medallion on it. Okay. And you can wear something like this with, you know, if you have a fedora hat that's similar in color, you could do that. You know, I've got a Spitfire here, you know, similar to a newsboy. Actually, I'm I'm sorry. This is a, uh, this is a Hawker cap, you know, which is basically a, a, a newsboy or paper boy or baker boy. <laughs> like they're saying, Europe, you know, cap, you know, whatnot uh, as well. Uh, center button it's got a hem print you know this one is not doesn't have the uh the cutouts of the of the pattern the panels the stitching it's just the imprint that's on there you know so that's a nice match with that you can do a sweater you can do a dress shirt something like that and jeans khakis nice chinos dress pants you can get away with some dress pants with this one with this combination here of course uh you know i wouldn't do black jeans on this definitely blue jeans maybe like a dark blue you know, dress shirt. If you want to do a dress shirt, you know, maybe something like uh, like a medium blue dress shirt or another color, or wear the shirt underneath and then wear like a like a complimentary uh, navy uh, blue uh, sweater on top. That type of thing. You know. Also, uh, I'm thinking you could do black pants with this. Probably, you can probably do. If you do black pants, though, you're gonna have to change your. Uh, it's gonna have to be black shoes. Yeah, if you do black pants, you want to wear black shoes with that one. Yeah. So either jeans or uh or uh you know, like I said, chinos, maybe like a dark navy chinos or dress pants, uh, you know, in the dark navy, something like that. They'll complement that. Uh or or, or yeah, I said jeans already. Uh chinos, you know, a nice uh uh pair of chinos, uh pants, whatnot. You may, maybe on the darker side. Not not the not the medium tan type color, but on the darker side, you know, what not uh not so much black now, like a darker tan, you know, uh type color, not brown, but a, a dark tan type color will work with something like this. And then with this combination, you know, you can do a fedora, like I said. You could do a medium brim, like a two and a uh two and a quarter inch fedora, or you can do a wide brim, whatever you want to do. You know, um I don't go too wide, wide though, you know, um, you know, I said maybe about a three inch at the widest, you know, whatever fits you good, you know, whatnot. I, I, I'll suggest on that one, you know, you could do a Navy scarf if you want, if you want to break it up so you don't have too much Navy, you can do something like this, like a check pattern, um, scarf, right? She's got some Navy, some gray, some Brown in there. Yeah, this is perfect. So you kind of break up the colors. Like I always say, right? You know, you got you got your cap or your fedora, you know, you got your brand, and then you got your shoes. You got your uh your sweater. Uh, I'm sorry, your your scarf. Your scarf. You know, you got your scarf, right? You know, so yeah. If you're a scarf kind of guy, you know, you can do that too. You see that right there? That'll go really nice. You know, it's got that gray, you know, that, that check pattern, you know, that's since it's not a solid navy. You know, that kind of brings some excitement to the whole, you know, bringing the whole thing together and some contrast, you know, so everything is not so matchy-matchy, right? It's not so matchy. That brown, you see, kind of matches the brown that's in the, the color of the sole of the shoes there. You see that? Yeah, so, yeah, this is a very nice uh, ensemble. Again, just kind of sharing some ideas, you know, of what you can do. You know, there, there are several different ways that, you know, you can do something like this. Again, this that's what these videos are all about, just to kind of, you know, give you some ideas on how to put stuff together, whatnot, or trying to enhance what you're currently doing. You know, if, if you want to kind of maybe get some new ideas, just to kind of share some new ideas and stuff like that. You know, if, if you're currently, you know, styling and profiling and, and that kind of stuff. And, you know, maybe, maybe uh, you're looking for some new uh, inspiration type stuff, you know. So that's all. Again, nothing is written in stone, you know, so uh, just G the heck guy giving some ideas and sharing some of his, uh, some of his passions and stuff like that. So 
the hats and shoes. Um, again, check me out. The Hatters Lounge is the name of the social hat group on Facebook. Uh, by G the Hat Guy. The Hatters Lounge, H A T T E R S L O U N G E, by G the Hat Guy. Okay. Search for that once you find it as a private hat group. Send me a request to join. Answer the question about your favorite hat. Uh, check the box. You know, read the rules. We've got like real simple rules, just a few rules there. No spam and stuff like that. Check the box and send me your request to join. I'll go ahead and approve you. You can post your own pictures. Let me see your hat and shoe combinations. I want to see what type of hat and shoe combinations you folks are putting together out there for your outfits, your closet. Okay. Excuse me. Um, don't be a, a spectator. Okay. Be a participator. Okay. Let, let us see what you're wearing out there. Okay. You folks see the stuff that I'm sharing with you all. Ideas on how to put stuff together and everything, you know. So I want to see what you're putting together for your closet. I want to see your hats, your hat collection. I want to see... You know, how you putting your, your hat and shoe combinations together for your outfits and stuff, okay? And you could do that. You post your, your pictures on, on that, uh, on the Facebook social group, you know, whatnot. So, so we can see what you got. Okay, so let's see what else we have here. Let's see. I got that, that. Yeah, I think that's the, um, this, this is the last one that I have here. Let's see. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, Navy Chucker Boots. These are made in Italy. It's got that nice tan leather lining on the inside there. Yeah, these are uh, New Buck. New Buck Chucker Boots. It's got that Lux sole, rubber Lux sole. Okay, so that will provide good water resistant qualities. You can wear this in the winter, you know, and, uh, you know, fall, winter, you know, early spring when it's still cold and stuff. You can still wear this, okay, when it's still snowing sometimes, depending on where you're located. You know, so that's new buck. Okay, that's smoother than uh, suede. All right. Hope you all know the difference between the two new buck and suede. You know, finishes. You know, something like this. You can do. You can do this cap too. You know, that's a nice combination. You can do a newsboy. You can do a fedora that's similar in color. You can do an ivy cap. You can do a pork pie. Whatever type. You know, uh, type of. Uh, brim you want to wear a medium brim hat you know uh you can do a yeah in in that similar color you can do that right you know and then you could do jeans if you want to do again dark color blue jeans with a slight wash or solid you know uh dark color blue jeans you could do that chinos okay or khaki pants nice dress you know dress casual uh pants these are these these uh chocolate boots are uh uh, for casual look, it's not for like you can't you want to wear. Excuse me, you don't want to wear with suits, okay? But you probably might be able to get away with some dress pants out there, you know. But th this is more of a dress casual type look, so you don't want to wear wear with a suit, you know. I don't recommend that look, you know. Um, but yeah, so you could do something like this, you know, with a fedora, a newsboy cap, ivy cap, whatever, okay? Um. Yeah, there's several different ways you can go. Again, you know, very nice uh, chocolate boots, you know, in a new buck. Uh, yeah, so like I said, definitely something like this. It's not going to go with a suit because it's got that rubber sole, lug sole. That's more of a uh, dress casual type look, you know, either casual or dress casual. You know, but this is a dress casual look here, you know, for this chucker. You know, uh, these, these are uh, higher quality shoes. So, um, but you could do jeans, chinos, like I said, you might be able to do certain dress pants. And then for your shirt, you can do, for your top, you can do a, a solid color shirt, you know, maybe in uh, 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 a check pattern that maybe has navy in another color, they'll complement in it. You know, you can do a solid color if you want to do like a medium navy, you know, something like that. Or one of these navies, you know, or maybe a navy that'll match the hat or something, you know, or the shoes, you can do that. You know, a sweater, uh, you know, a cardigan, you know, whatnot, uh, you know, merino wool sweater, you know, maybe like a heavy wool sweater, you know, you wear a shirt underneath, uh, a, a lighter sh shirt or something like that uh, underneath, you can do that too. You know, there's several different options. Again, this is G the Hat Guy. Uh, again, I'm just sharing some ideas, some enlightenment on how to put hat and shoe combinations together, showing you stuff that I do and, and, and that type of thing. So hopefully you gain some insights, uh, you learn something or you can expand on your knowledge, uh, 
of, of what you're currently doing. Uh, check us out on Facebook. The Hatters Lounge by G the Hat Guy. Come over and join the group and show me what you how you put your hat and shoe combinations together. Okay, I like to see your hat collection, your hat and shoe uh, ensembles for your outfits, that type of thing. When you're stepping out, you can post your pictures, all that great stuff. No spam though, okay? Send me your requests. Let me know your favorite hats. Uh, and uh, make sure you agree to the to the rules uh, of the group. You know, just check the box, read the stuff. Very simple. And uh, and then I'll uh, I'll approve your request. And uh, yeah, you know, also on Instagram is G the Head Guy on Instagram. You know, um, so yeah, it's been a pleasure. You know, making another video here for you guys. Thank you for the support. Channel is growing. You know, we we taking it straight to the top. You know, so. Much love. Keep watching. Stay tuned. Got great, awesome hat content coming your way. And uh, yeah, thank you very much. Salute.